What's up guys, it's JDC here, and today we're gonna review Spider-Man Unlimited. Right off the bat, the show is not a bad show, right? It, it really isn't a bad show. I just wanna put that out there. But it, sh it should've just been a 2099 show, let's be real. This show should've just followed Miguel O'Hara, should've been a Spider-Man 2099 show. I mean, the city in the on Counter-Earth fits 2099 pretty well, except for all the animal shit and whatever, but anything else i mean it, it literally could just be a 2099 show. but with that being said it's still a good show either way the theme song kicks ass this is and, and not only that the suit looks amazing i hope this appears in marvel's and in insomniac's spider-man 2. G one can only hope good great show man not only that but the animation style is very good and the, the, so at some point and at some frames of animation i will admit that counter earth has almost a vaporwave style aesthetic if, if you know what i'm talking about it's quite interesting and i like it quite a bit i'm pretty much into that stuff honestly but also the show itself is just incredibly 90s i love it and yeah great show man 100 percent. i'd give it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> All right, now before this video ends, I wanna just put something on the screen for a minute. And then I'll, after the video is over, I'll explain what that was, what that was. And I have a lot more that I'll explain soon too, so. All right, so that video was recorded in like November 2014. So it was like I was a month into being like 10 years old. And I this was at like one in the morning. Like my parents were dead asleep. Meanwhile, I'm in my bedroom with a robe and a Spider-Man mask dancing to the Spider-Man Unlimited theme. I was at like one in the morning and I found this recently. I have two more. Two more. It's the exact same night, exact same video. And I'll, you know what? I'll share that with you right now. In fact, screw it. Why not? Yeah. 